All right. Got these brass shot shells. They're 16 gauge. Uh, CBC head stamp imported by Magtech. They're made in Brazil. And uh, they're balloon head cases. I don't know if you can see that very well. Um, and they are boxer primed. They use a standard large pistol primer. Two and a half inch. And that's what I'm making my new hunting loads with. Starting to move everything over to brass holes. I started with 410 holes. Now I'm going to the brass holes and everything. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just take you through the loading procedure on it. Uh, I'm going to start with priming, work my way up through powder charging. We'll go from there. All right. I want to show you real quick how I reload my brass shotgun shells. Uh, I'm going to do this with some basic tools and not what I use, not the presses I use. Just to show you a different way of doing it in case you don't have nice equipment. So I'm going to start out with a CBC shotgun shell. It's a boxer primed. Let's see if I can get that to focus. Boxer primed. Shotgun shell. And uh, it's imported by Magtech. This is a 16 gauge. And what I'm going to do now is seat the primer. Okay, I need to seat it a little more. Okay. Now that primer, let's see if I can get this to focus. That primer is right at flush. That's what you want. All right. So the primer flush the next step is to weigh out our powder charge i have settled on 14 and a half grains of promo uh, alliance promo i have found that is a safe charge i'm not recommending that you use that charge and i don't know that that charge will be safe in your firearm so as always work up your own load and don't take my word for it all right, I'm going to start dispensing powder into the case. Again, I'm doing it with uh, a dipper instead of my press to show a different way of doing it. This is a... Uh, I've got a mech, and I've got a Lee Lodol style press. But you can reload brass shotgun shells with nothing more than just these simple tools. All right. Fourteen point four, fourteen point five. All right. So now take our nitro card and get it started. That's the key to these shells. Making sure that that nitro card is seated hard against that powder. I had some bloopers when I didn't do that. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a fiber cushion wad. Let me see if I can get that to focus. There you go. That is a lubed fiber cushion wad. Now, I'm going to get that one started. Same thing, I'm going to seat it hard against that nitro card. OK. 
can't really see well into that case, but that's all right. I'll save the other fiber wad. Now you can start seeing the wad column in there. We've got two half inch fiber wads, so that's an inch of wadding. Then we've got our nitro card underneath that. And now it's time to drop shot. I have settled on one ounce of shot. Right now I'm using se uh, seven and a half shot. So I start up our scale and we're gonna change it to ounces. Set the case on there and tear that case out. And for simplicity on this video, I did not, and because the basement is extremely cold, I did not bring in all my loading equipment. So we're gonna keep the same dipper. I would normally use a larger dipper, but we'll get there. It'll just take us a little longer. So we're at two tenths of an ounce, right at three tenths of an ounce. Half ounce. Just shy of three quarter ounces. Eight tenths. All right, that's right at one ounce. All right, get that scale out of the way. All right, now we've got our ounce of shot. Take an overshot card. Now, because of the type of shell this is, we don't have to, uh, Ben's a brass shell and it's not going to be cycled in an auto loader. It'll be used in a single shot. We don't have to uh, increase our wad column height any higher. So there's no use in using three of those fiber wads. Um, it, it'll just set down lower in the shell like that, and that's fine. Um, if it was going to be cycled in an auto loader, you would need to go ahead and add another fiber wad to bring your wad height all the way up, and then you would roll crimp this in. But when you do that, you're going to cause a, uh, a lot more work hardening of your brass, and your shells are not going to last as long. I fire these out of a, uh, a Stevens 940A break open shotgun, and I have had superb accuracy and luck with these hand loads. Now, what I do to give you a little more security that your shot's not going to fall out, just take some regular old Elmer's glue and squirt it all around that edge like that. Let me see if I can get that to focus. It ought to focus on that. Regular, Elmer, regular uh, Elmer's glue around the edge, that'll dry. Now seal that overshot card onto the edge of the shell. And that is one loaded brass shotgun shell. Now I'm going to load the rest of them. 